What's up, YouTubers? How are you guys doing? Okay, now we are switching gears from uh, exhausting uh, American election and all kinds of lawsuits from uh, President Donald Trump and his uh, lawyers led by Rudy Giuliani, Rudy Giuliani, the Italian mafia. All right, guys, so we are switching gear from the drama which is going on here in America, I mean the voting drama, uh, to uh, actually it's not voting drama because we have a president-elect already, but uh, Donald Trump administration still do not believe that uh, Joe Biden won. So uh, President Trump won Joe Biden to prove if indeed he got 8 million voters of votes. Uh, Joe Biden is not going to prove anything. So people like us, we are the one that we can prove because we're the one that, we're the people we voted for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. So I'm switching gear this time, guys. I'm going to international news, okay? So, uh, sorry about that. Kind of uh, becoming a bit of habit. But, uh, so, um, I'm switching gear from here to the so-called Middle East. Uh, going to talk about the assassination of a top a nuclear uh, of a top Iranian nuclear uh, uh, person person personnel or person top nuclear <laughs> a scientist okay so every news now is uh, talking about uh, the top uh, nuclear scientist, Iranian nuclear scientist. So, but Iranian, I think, is it the Iranian is fault? Uh, how can this uh, high profile uh, uh, Iranian sci scientist uh, moving around with one uh, bodyguard with uh, a car with no protection? The vehicle is not bulletproof uh, vehicle. Uh, improper, improper, uh, 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 or the, at least the vehicle of this Iranian uh, scientist at least uh, need to be given a bulletproof vehicle and bulletproof uh, high, high uh, explosions, small, small explosions. Okay. Instead of walking with the, I mean, driving this small, I don't know what kind of car is that, with no bulletproof, one bodyguard, whatever, you know. I think it's, it, is it uh, Iranian failure to protect their own scientists? Okay. Is it Iranian government's failure to protect their own scientists? You cannot give a high profile uh, scientist. A one bodyguard, one driving around with a car that does not protection, doesn't have any protection. You know, some country high profile uh, scientists like this are actually protected, highly protected. They can go wild, they can go uh, anywhere without uh, uh, the government knowing why is he going or, you know, what kind of vehicle is driving it and without no heavy uh, protection whatsoever, you see. People like this who are going around, you know, yeah, you have to do your own, man, your own thing. You cannot just stay in the cage or in the house. You have to, I understand that even this Iranian scientist, they need to go visit uh, their parents, or vis visit their family, visit uh, their friends, you know, so they have to drive a distance, drive around, you know, I understand that. You can't just uh, be kept in the, in the, in, in somewhere that, you know. So this guy was watched for many, many years. Okay. 
his watch for many remember uh, Benjamin Netanyahu he had the dramatic uh, you know uh, talking about this guy uh, the top Iranian scientist uh, back then so he was a target of uh, Israeli uh, assassination something like that but we don't know who actually killed him or assassinating assassinated him the Iranian top uh, the Iranian top science science scientist <laughs> scientist okay guys huh man so um is this the Iranian failure or Iran they are talking about retaliation 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 they never retaliate okay the Israeli are flying their f-16 every day to Syria and bombing uh, uh, the Iranian uh, allies in Syria because uh, Russia they don't care about that okay the president of Syria is kind of uh, he has no power no more so the president of Syria is disabled <laughs> That's why you see uh, it's, it's all about Russia now, okay? You will actually, they are protectorate of the Syrian territory, but the, the, the Russian, they don't care about uh, Israeli flying their uh, 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 fight, fighter jets to Syria and bombing Syria, bombing people of Syria, bombing things that... Uh, uh, they think they have to do it in order to protect uh, the people of Israel or to protect whatever it is. Okay, so the Russian they don't give a fuck. They don't care about Russia. I mean, they don't care about Syria at all. Uh, otherwise, uh, the Israeli they, they they couldn't be able to actually. Uh, they won't uh, fly their fly, um, uh, warplanes to Syria if Russia actually care about Syria that much. But anyway. Uh, Russia helped uh, the president of, uh, of Syria and his family and uh, his base, military base there. But anyway, anyways, I'm not going to talk about Syria that much and Russia, but I'm going to, I'm going to talk about this uh, Iranian scientist. Okay, so is it the uh, Iranian failure that their scientists have not enough protection? Okay. So how these people came with the guns and whatever and spray uh, bullets to his vehicle? How do they manage to do that? You know? So how do they, somebody, uh, his closest friends actually told him, let's go this way, let's go that way, so that he can go there and some, some enemies are waiting for him to kill him? Or somebody directed him to exactly the area that he was killed? So I think uh, Iranian, Iranian government need to think, okay, need to think so hard. So you're talking about retaliations. And I remember when uh, Qasem Soleimani was uh, hit by the American drone um, missiles, by drone. Uh, yeah, it, it, Iranian actually tried to retaliate by, he, he won first, he given, he, he, he talked to uh, Iraqi official first before he launches, before launched missile to American base in, in, in Iraq. You don't do that, okay? Because uh, uh, if you want to retaliate, man, if you, 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 don't, you don't want anybody because nobody's going to be there if you want somebody, oh, we're going to launch missiles. And, you know, nobody's going to be, everybody goes out, everyone is going to be into hiding, you know? So actually, uh, um, uh, Iranian government, I know they are scared to death, okay? The COVID-19, you know, and all these kinds of assassinations in Iran, all kind of stuff. So I know uh, Iranians, they don't want to go to war. They, they want to live peacefully. They want to uh, live for, for everyone in this world. They want to do businesses in this world. But they, uh, as usual, uh, these uh, barbarian uh, Western countries, including America, Okay, putting six, six, six to any country that actually uh, doesn't agree with this uh, Westerners countries. Okay, they put embargo on you. You can't sell. You can't buy. Huh? 
you, you can't do anything. People that's talking about 666 that uh, in the Bible, already 666 already, what, 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 is here for a long, long time. Call it sanctions. Sanctions, he's 666. No, you cannot buy, you cannot uh, uh, sell, okay? This is embargo, or this sanction actually is imposed to uh, certain countries that they, don't, that they don't want to bow down to Western countries, such as America and other Western countries, okay? So 666 actually started many, many years ago, guys. Remember the Bible talking about the, the book of Revelation, the book of Revelations in the in the Bible, six six six. So is is this Iranian failure to protect their own scientists and the, all other people, like generals and everything? Okay, I understand Iran doesn't want to go to war because they want they want to be they want peace. They want they want a neighboring peace. They don't want to see wars, but as usual, the Westerners always they, uh, they initiate wars around the around the globe so that they can make money selling some weapons. Okay, without wars, why they are manufacturing weapons? No, you manufacturing uh, you manufacturing weapons to sell it. So in order to sell it, you have to initiate wars so they can sell your weapons. No, sitting right there in the bunker or somewhere in the freaking uh, okay, guys. So, so this is not a breaking news, but this is like what, what happened like three days, four days ago, you know, that uh, the top Iranian scientist gunned down in in, in Iran. Okay, uh, Iranian government thought that maybe this is the Israeli or this is the American conjecting or in conjunct with con, in conjunct with the uh, uh, Israeli. But anyways, guys, please subscribe, put your comments. What do you think? Is this, is this Iranian failure, the Iranian government failure not to protect their own scientists, giving them one bodyguard and freaking small car they can't even fit on it, driving around, instead of, uh, instead of giving them enough bodyguards and, uh, and uh, full uh, protected, uh, foolproof protected vehicles. Okay, to drive them around if they want to go somewhere, visiting their family or whatever. But anyways, man, uh, this is what I think. Okay, put your comments, man. Take care.